What's going on, everybody? My name is Krista Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to another Draft League video. I'm your coach for the St. John Sharpedos, and this is the UPBA Season 3, Week 7. This week, we are fighting uh, Salieri of the Southern Shamans, and... Oh boy, building for building for this guy was not, and I and I wholeheartedly mean this was not easy. He had res, he had uh, so many resistances. I I can't if I remember offhand, he had like six mons that was able to cover six uh, like six maybe seven different. Uh, weakness uh different type of uh weaknesses so yeah building for him wasn't the greatest i'm hoping i am sincerely hoping we can come out with a win on this because we're we're already at two wins but we lost last week and i want to keep my place in the playoff because as of now uh as of now we are in second place only by deferential only only by deferential only we are plus one ahead of the third place team so I'm hoping I am sincerely hoping to come out of a win on this um, so that then we can like I said keep our place in the playoffs because we are now in the last stretch of the season like like I said this is season this is a uh, week seven and we do 12 weeks so there isn't that so there isn't much time left there's only after this battle, there's only uh, four battles left. So I am, or five battles left after this week. So I am sincerely hoping that we come out with a win on this. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna start repeating myself. Okay, so uh, this is the team that I'm running with this week. And as always, the team that I will be using will be in the description below this video via Poke Paste link. And, um, I would also put, uh, Sal's link in the description as well, but I don't, but he doesn't have a YouTube channel. So unfortunately, it's just going to be the Pokepaste link this time, but if you guys are excited that Draft League Battles are back on the channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I greatly appreciate your guys' support for these videos. Because I, I know the first two seasons of the UPBA, things were really sporadic. I was trying to get my, uh, get my commentary down. I was trying to get my commentary somewhat right, and I know even this season I'm not perfect. But the fact that you guys are subscribing to the channel and liking the videos are showing me that you guys are uh, that you guys are like that you guys genuinely do like the video, and. I greatly appreciate your support. Anyway, off on a tangent. Uh, like I said, the Poke Pace link will be in the description down below this video. So if you guys want to give me any suggestions or tips for any of the mods that I selected, or even mods that I didn't use, uh, or if I should have made this play as compared to me doing this play instead, or whatever, the link will be in the description down below. So you guys can basically follow along with me. Uh, so anyway, so let's get started. First, we have Flubber, our, excuse me, we have Flubber, our Gudra, holding the choice specs with Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Draco Meteor, and Sludge Bomb. Next is the Collector, our Clefable, holding the leftovers with Soft Boiled, Cosmic Power, Calm Mind, and Stored Power. Next is the Nuke himself, Petrie the Archaeops. Holding the Power Herb with Acrobatic Sky Attack, Roost, and U-Turn. Next is the Meta, our Metagross, holding the red card. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him the red card. Uh, just I, 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 this particular thing for, or this particular item for Metagross, I'm tr is, I'm trying something completely different here. So he's holding the red card with Ice Punch, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Meteor Mash. Next is too spoopy for me, the Chandelure holding the Psyche MZ with Trick, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Fire Blast. 
And last but not least, we have Clad the Swamper holding the leftovers with Aqua Tail, Earthquake, Counter, and Hammer Arm. So, as always, guys, the Poke Paste link will be in the description down below this video. And I will see you guys once we get into the battle. And hopefully, hopefully, we come out with a win. I'm hoping. I am sincerely hoping we come out with a win. So, hopefully, uh, I'll go ahead and contact uh, Salieri, and hopefully we can get this battle underway, so I will see you guys in just a bit. Here we go, everybody. This is the fight. I don't know if there's gonna be any audio. I know there wasn't any last time, but... Doesn't look like there's gonna be any. Wow, things are low. <laughs> Things are slow getting in. Jeez. Alright. Uh, Greninja, Needle Queen, Mimikyu, Blaziken, I knew. Okay, Kartana, um, I feel like I just want to start with Metagross. I just want to see something, is there actually? Yeah, for some, okay, I guess no audio again. Um, I want to say I want to start off with Metagross. And I'm going to turn off spectators. Um, let's we'll start off with Metagross. Okay. We got Metagross versus Gren. Greninja can't really do much to me. I want to get the Stealth Rocks up. Um... Yeah, let's get Stealth Rocks up. Okay, come on. There isn't much. If this guy, if he's choice, there isn't. The most he can do if he's choice. Spikes and we got Stealth Rocks on his end. I say let's go and use Earthquake. Either that or I could use Meteor Mash and hope I get the attack boost. Um. Since there's not much he can do. Got the attack boost. Woo! So at this point now, I could. I could Earthquake now. There's a tan growth. <sighs> tan growth. He has Earthquake of his own. Um, ice. I could Ice Punch him. Trying to see if he uses knockoff, not Tangrowth. He has knockoff. All right, I'll be back. So we knocked off my red card. Um. So now I don't have it. So now I don't have it. Any item. Uh, I could go with a Meteor Mash and kill him. Hopefully I get the another attack boost. No, okay. That's fine. You know all my moves now. Uh, oh yeah, he, oh yeah, okay, I got the second layer of spikes. Grin Ninja comes back. Uh, 
Uh, at the range that I'm at, Meteor Mash can kill. I just want to see. He could. He might have Dark Pulse. That's if this is the. If he chooses that, I. I feel like Meteor Mash might be the safe option. Might be the safe option. He does have Dark Pulse. Ah. Okay. Um. Okay, so I know he has Dark Pulse. Um, if I go out into Gudra, if I go out into Gudra, everything can kill him. I don't want to use Gudra quite yet. If I go into Clefable, oh, Clefable's not going to be any good. Um... If I go out into Swampert, Swampert might be my best option. Um, um, at the range that he's at, the most he can do to me is Hydro Pump if he has it. Um, I could just theoretically just use Hammer Arm. Um, Earthquake can also kill. He has grass. Oh, he has Grass Nart. Okay. I did not know he could get Grass Nart. Um. Now I might be screwed. Now I know. I made Archaeops just fast enough to outspeed? No. <sighs> he might have Ice Beam. Oh no. Uh, I might actually have to go out into Gudra. I might not have a choice. Go out into Gudra. As much as I don't want to. Uh. Because he would have killed it either way. Even if I send out, even if I sent out Clefable, because <sighs> there wouldn't have been much I can do with Clefable anyway. I need to get Greninja gone. So Gudra is my only is my only chance. It's the only chance that I have in which it will not kill. And <sighs> it was a Thunderbolt. Yeah, you know Queen. That's fine. Um, Neo Queen. I'm pretty sure. If he has Ice Beam, which he more than likely will use right now, that will kill. If I go out into Fable, is definitely not a good option. Um, I think Chandelure might be my only no. If he uses Earth Power, if he uses Ice Beam, that's thirty-one percent. I, mm, I don't think. I think he got this. Slug Wave. Uh Yeah. This is the Even Z tricking isn't it isn't good for me right now. Of course, yeah, and I miss. Get Gudra back out. There's not there's nothing else I can do. There really isn't. Wait, I'm faster? Wait, what? He didn't pull any speed into Neo Queen at all? 
Uh, okay. He has a swords dancing mimic. He just got his attack up two stages. He's gonna play rough and that's gonna kill me. Oh, this, this, this is a thing that's happening. Listen, you're, you're at the point now in which you can kill, so I don't know why. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna kill me now. What? Hmm. Well, that's not good. Um, that that play rough is gonna kill, and it's gonna hurt hard. Um. Nice beam. <laughs> I mean, at least I got his speed lowered by one. It's something. Um. Oh, not blank. Uh, Archeops. Got his speed lowered by one. I could theoretically. I'm gonna go ahead with the P Drew. And I'm gonna Sky Attack. What? Oh, wait. I would have thought that I would have been faster, but I guess not. It is what it is. He got it. Alright. That's game. So, good game to Salieri and... Yeah, I know we couldn't come. I bleh. it is what it is. I that the uh, that could have went a lot better. I don't know what the hell happened, but he totally outplayed me. So good game to Alex, and hopefully we can come back from it next week. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel because I because your support is greatly appreciated and all that good wonderful stuff. And it's not the battle that I wanted, but it is what it is. So I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.